We want to bring in NBC News meteorologist Bill Karens now with the forecast. Bill, always good to see you. So walk us through how bad things are going to get and which states will see the worst of it. Iowa, uh, Interstate 80 closed in some spots right now. That's where the heavy snow is, and that's also where the cold and the winds are really picking up. In Chicago, you've warmed up a little bit now, so that's why the roads are just kind of you know, slushy or just wet. But as the temperatures plunge later tonight and then during the day tomorrow, you could get that refreeze. So we have 54 million people under winter alerts. Blizzard warnings are still up from the Quad Cities all the way through much of Iowa into portions of South Dakota. We're also under blizzard warnings now in the Green Bay area and our friends in southern portions of uh, Idaho. That's a separate storm, by the way, that's hitting the west this weekend. But additional snow, we've already had about six inches in the Des Moines area. Chicago's only had about two to four inches. If you're closer to the lakeshore, a little bit less. We will see additional snowfall totals up to a foot right from about Milwaukee northwards, especially just off the lakeshore. And then all of northern Michigan, it's going to be a long weekend with those winds howling and bursts of snow. Then we still have to deal with the flooding threat later on tonight as the heavy rain moves over the area that was soaked from the last storm where we still have rivers in flood stage. That's going to be tonight. Night. And then there's tough, and then there's Montana tough. It is negative 52 wind chill right now when you go outside in Great Falls, negative 38 in Billings, and this cold air is plunging all the way to Texas in the days ahead. Right now, the wind chill is negative four in Wichita, negative eight in Kansas City. And as we go throughout the weekend, that's going to be the story not the snow and the ice, the cold all the way to the south. Anytime you have a minus and double digits that start with the number five, and you see all that fuchsia, Bill, I'm scared. I was surprised that my color table even works. Oh, all right. NBC News meteorologist Bill Cairns, thanks for telling us where to expect it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.